Hydrovision is given to people who either have a strong dedication towards something, or have a desire to help or protect others. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, the Hydro Archon to be punished by a... the Death Sentence. I, Serena, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice! All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Farewell, Nervilla. Play as a god. Serena's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. I am Fosamar. You know, the god. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the truth. 
true meaning of justice. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. The me you see before you now is that divinity. And the human counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. Anyway, so then I cursed her. All part of the plan, of course. The plan to deceive the heavenly principles. <sighs> Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? The Hydra Archon, alone, weeping on her throne. In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress, to play the part of the Hydro Archon in the prophecy. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die, but nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the Opera House, to embrace the role of leading lady, to forever play the part of the god from the prophecy, all to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. But Farina is only human, isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. It must have been torture for her. It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, I must definitely owe her an apology for it. It's been 500 years, and all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Farina, you speak up.
made a contract with her own self to save the nation, strictly adhered to it for over five centuries without once wavering, and even fooled the heavenly principles in the end. I have great respect for approaches to justice that place exacting demands not only on others, but also on the self. Though her divinity has vanished, and the throne of the Archon is no more, Farina will go down in Fontaine's history as a god of justice worthy of recognition. For five centuries, I dueled the Raiden Shogun in my personal realm of consciousness to confirm the steadfastness of my will. <laughs> Yet this Farina you speak of, though possessing only a frail human body, committed herself to acting out her part every second of every day for five hundred years. A true battle of the spirit. Her willpower has indeed reached the level of a god. People often say that wisdom isn't about what you know, but knowing what you can change. It is beyond question that the prophecy was carved into Ermin so long ago. And while it may look like nothing has changed, it also seems like everything has. I think we both know her to be smart enough to turn the fate of the world around. A bard must be versed in both music and song, but a stage performer requires far more skills than just these. Hey, don't you think we should invite her over to put on a show at the next Windbloom Festival? Huh? You want me to talk about how she saved Fontaine? Well, I mean, she's such a talented artiste, it's no wonder. I wouldn't be surprised even if she'd saved the entire world.